On October 29, 2010, Matt and Meredith Eastridge were pregnant with their first child, a son. The same night, David Huffman spent the last two hours of his life getting drunk. He put away the equivalent of 15 drinks, each one recorded on a security camera. The 25-year-old stumbled out of this Charlotte bar, and three minutes later... I remember saying, look at that car, and that was the last thing I remember. You were hit head on? Yes, sir. Both the Eastridges were critically injured when Huffman, with a blood alcohol content three times the legal limit and driving 100 miles per hour, hurtled into their SUV. Meredith, six months pregnant, lost their baby. I think about him every day. I think about, you know, how old he would be and what he would be doing and... The family you would have had. Right. There were multiple times in, the, in that night that, you know, this tragedy could have been prevented. So we want to take this device and implement it in the car. Into Bud Zauk is leading a research team creating technology that could prevent 10,000 drunk driving deaths a year. Unlike this existing breathalyzer test for convicted drunk drivers, these two new sensors would test anyone behind the wheel. The idea is to develop a sensor that can potentially be implemented in a vehicle to prevent anybody that's above the legal limit, above the .08 legal limit, from moving the vehicle and driving. The touch base sensor embedded in the start-stop button shines an infrared light into the driver's finger and in a half second measures the alcohol content in the tissue. The second type of technology is a breath-based sensor mounted near the steering wheel. It would measure molecules in a driver's breath. How far away is this technology from being ready? At this stage, I would say we're probably looking eight to ten years away is when you'd start seeing it inside vehicles. The $10 million funding for Zauk's project is split between 16 car makers and the federal government. But it's opposed by the American Beverage Institute, which represents 8,000 chain restaurants in the U.S. The group made the following statement. Drunk driving fatalities are at historically low levels. We shouldn't try to solve what's left of the drunk driving problem by targeting all Americans with alcohol sensing technology. The Eastridges now have a daughter, Sloan. They hope this technology will be standard in new cars by the time she is old enough to drive. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Charlotte.